Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a easy, simple lace wig install. And today's straight wig was provided by YG Wigs Hair. Now they did have me a few goodies in the bag and they also left like a little cash back card. So make sure you guys um, get your, you know, use your coupon codes and take those little coupon cards to use because what's better than getting some of your money back that you spent? But on the other hand, they did send over this beautiful straight wig. It came nice and pre-plucked. And I just had to do just a tad bit more plucking, but not too much. And I did go ahead and bleach the knots and um, apply the foundation on the inside of this lace. Now, this lace was very easy to bleach the knots and also very easy to pluck out uh, more hairs. And um, it is a, uh, like, it's kind of shaped like a frontal wig, which means I can literally part it um, down the middle or on any sides of the lace and have like a full at least four inch parting space so that was like one of the great benefits of their lace front wigs now today as you can see uh, my client here has that high low hairline that I mentioned a lot in some of my previous videos and the key to applying wigs on people with this same type of hairline is still follow uh, the shape of the hairline with the flow of the glue as far as laying the glue down like just because the the sides are really really low that doesn't mean bring the lace in the center all the way down on their forehead to match the low sides you still want to apply your glue in the same like keep the same flow pattern of their natural hairline and you can kind of like cut and adjust the lace to the actual hairline without applying their wig down too, too low. I'm not sure if I'm confusing you with my words, but I'm just gonna show you um, the exact process of what I mean in this video here. So I'm just going in with my next layers of glue and I'm just keeping, you know, keeping the glue the same flow of the natural hairline and I will cut that lace off the same way that the hairline flows once I actually begin to uh, pull it down and it turns clear and everything like that. So if you had concerns about applying wigs on hairlines like this, then just stay tuned and continue to watch this video and you can learn some new little tricks today. Now, once you applied all of your lace glue layers and it turns clear, you can begin to pull that lace down into the glue. And I always like to start with the center first and then go in from side to side. And I know you guys see a little hole there, but that's because I accidentally uh, burnt the lace when I was um, hot combing the roots out on the mannequin. So just be very, very careful, guys, so you don't make the same mistake that I did okay and that's what i mean what well, that can happen if you um you know sit that hot comb on there um you know whatever but um it did not affect the hairline in any way shape or form so thank god for that but now that we have that lace and she's holding it down i am just going to blow dry it on that heat setting and as you can see as i mentioned before you want to uh um you know keep that glue 
that's the same, um, you know, the same like pattern of their natural hairline. And that's why you want to do that because once you go in and start cutting off that extra lace with the scissors, um, the lace will be able to be cut off exactly where it needs to be. That way it can still match her natural hairline. So some of that hair from the front of the lace did get cut off. And that's because if I would have left it on there, it would have been too low on her hairline. So as long as you place the glue to, um, to match the flow of that hairline, when you do cut that lace off and you need to cut off the extra lace, everything that needs to be cut will be cut and everything that's supposed to be glued will be glued so make sure you do that for every client that has you know a hairline like this but for every client in general make sure you um to spread that glue in the same flow of their natural hairline and that will prevent you from laying uh, their lace too far down so um, more of the lace did get cut off in the center, obviously, because her center is higher up. But that's why at the same time, when you do get to plucking, especially for a speci uh, specific hairline like this one, you want to pluck further back. Um, you want to pluck more in the center um, for hairlines like this. But as far as the size, you can just do like your normal um, plucking because not much of that lace would get cut off versus the hair in the center being, you know, cut more as far as that lace. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to continue to, um, you know, cut off the extra lace and tack down what is needed. And then I will go in and spray that hairline down and then tie it down with the um, melt belt to um, melt that lace in some more. And I'm just gonna go in with that bio silk and spray that hairline down on both sides and then apply that elastic band to secure the lace and do my second step melting process. Now after letting your elastic band sit for some minutes, you can go ahead and remove it. But if, before I removed it, I wanted to show you guys how pretty this wig was. Now this is supposed to be a 22 inch wig, but as you can see, it looks way longer than it says it's uh, supposed to be. And after removing that elastic band, you can see how natural that hairline is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and you know comb that hair and that hairline out because i will be doing a middle part today first we didn't know if we we're gonna do a side or a middle but she decided to go with the middle part so we're just gonna do a really nice sleek middle part and um probably pull one side back and add some worded bobby pins like a previous style i did before on my channel if you have seen that video already so yes we would just do like i said a nice sleek middle part and a pull back um on one side with the bobby pins just very simple quick and easy but um after parting the hair down the center you just want to go ahead and um you know add your wax stick to the top and go in with your hot comb to get that part nice flat and really really sleek and pretty much what you do to one side you just want to repeat the same steps to the other side as well
Now after uh, getting that nice and sleek, I'm just gonna go on with my black spray now. And um, also with that concealer to get that part really nice and clean. And now I'm gonna start to hot comb the center. I mean, not the center, but the side that we are going to push back. And I'm just gonna go in with that wax stick once again. And we will not be doing any baby hairs for this installation. We just wanted it to be very flat, neat, and natural, of course. Um, this is one of my loyal clients as well. And she always just like, like the simplest look. Like she literally comes and get a middle part every single time. Like every single time. And it's always a frontal or a lace closure. So um, this is like... <laughs> Like, I really wish I can show you, like, the progress of where I came from. Like, she was one of the very first clients years ago, like, maybe in 2015, and I installed a frontal on her, and it was so effed up. Like, I'm going to actually ask her to send me that picture, and I will just post it, like, on my stories or in the community section so you guys can see like you really have to just trust the process practice and practice and over time you will see the progress but i will show you that um you know one day so you guys can see like where i came from and where i am now but yes this is my girl um we even went to high school together and she's been rocking with me throughout the years so this was a quick, simple slay. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you, and stay tuned for more videos.